Make sure you like this video for my boy Zuby. This nigga needs it. Yo, what's going on, Playboys? Welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, we're going to be installing this exhaust that I bought off of eBay on my new Honda Grom clone. It's a very, very simple install, bro. And I'm going to show you guys why. So, here we go. These are the things that's needed to install this exhaust on that bike. So, yeah. Um, right here, we got a exhaust tailpipe cutter. 25 bucks, I believe, from uh, Harbor Freight. I'm returning that. And then... Uh, we also have this pipe, um, I forgot what it's called, it's like a, damn, what is this? I, I guess it's like a slip-on, right? So, you will have to cut your exhaust, slip on this little slip-on, put your muffler on, obviously, use these springs to clamp this muffler onto this, and that's really it, bro. It's really, really simple. And I already went ahead and cut mine. As you guys can see right here, I cut mine about, so right here is a, is a there's a, like a, a mounting point for the exhaust. I cut it about three or two inches away, or two, yeah, about two inches away. So this could be freed up, and this could just come off. So now all I gotta do is just slip on this little adapter piece, tighten it up, slip on this, put the springs on, and start that bad girl up. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple, like I said. If you have an RPS Condor and you wanna do this, I'ma leave all the links down below. Um, yeah, this is just for all the RPS owners out there, so I know it's a couple of you guys. So yeah, let's get it going. I wanna knock this out real quick, cause I really wanna know what this bike sound like. And maybe I can give you guys a couple flybys in the neighborhood. So yeah, let's get it. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice working inside the garage. I just wish there was more lighting and uh, less echo. But yeah, this is the exhaust pipe cutter. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap this around this exhaust or any exhaust that you wanna cut. When you wrap it around, you wanna get as tight as you can. Pause, no ditty. And then you're gonna squeeze. Once you squeeze, it's gonna wrap around that exhaust pipe. Once you get it around that exhaust pipe, you're gonna start doing like a sawing motion this looks so wrong once you do that you keep doing that until you can actually cut through the exhaust it's gonna take i say when i did this this little small piping and it also depends on how how thick your piping is so yeah this probably took me like a minute or two to cut through because i was going pretty fast and hard hey yo but uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Boom, this is out. I think I'm gonna put, actually no, I'm not gonna put nothing on that. But yeah, that's out. Exhaust pipe is right there. First, it'll be smart for me to put my clamp on. Hopefully you guys can see this well. So clamp goes on. That goes on. Okay. That's all. I want to open the garage so I can give you guys a quick startup without a muffler. revving it because I ain't trying to get in trouble but that thing is loud without a muffler bro so good thing I'm putting this muffler on this is how it sounds with the muffler Sounds amazing, bro. Wow, that sounds actually really freaking good. 
All right, guys, so we got it on the bike. Fairly, fairly easy, bro. Really, really easy install. Next thing I want to do to this bike is actually heat wrap the exhaust because even though it's sprayed black and whatever that coating is, the exhaust still gets kind of hot. So, yeah, that's the next thing for this bike, man. But what you guys think? What you guys think of the bike? It's fire? It's ugly? What do you guys think? I actually, actually really like it a lot. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to move the bike to the front of the house because I don't want to be revving it in here. But, uh, yeah, take it to the front of the house, get some nice shots of it, rev it up, cold start, and then, obviously, when the bike is warm, give you guys a couple flybys, and, yeah, man, end that off a video. But, bro, this crap look good. I'm happy I got, like, the titanium look because the bike is blue, so, like, it just makes everything look very, very nice. I have some more stuff I want to do to this bike, like, change out the tails, tail light, simple mods. Uh, especially the rear view mirrors because I cannot see nothing out of them but uh, yeah that's for later later on damn it sounds good bro
Every single one working. I ain't gonna lie. I see why people wear bags on these things, though. Because, uh, having no bag makes it like 20 times different. guys so this running off the video man hopefully you guys enjoyed it you can tell by the way i sounded in the video that i definitely enjoyed it and uh let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this bro like honestly because i could have so many ride outs to go to i have friends that got bikes it could be really really cool so yeah man your boys out please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got the soda head to the merch site www.zubicarage.com and yeah your boys out peace yeah. Trouble on my mind. Yeah, I got trouble on my mind. Yeah, on my mind. Trouble on my mind. So much trouble on my mind.